Hello and welcome back to the third episode of the Automated Special Series that is focusing on SAP automation and integration with Power Automate. So in this series, we will be building an SAP on-hand inventory lookup bot using Power Virtual Agents, Power Automate, and the out-of-the-box SAP ERP connector. The end-to-end -end development and deployment time is really less than 15 minutes. So as shown in the first episode, we currently have three different SAP connectivity options within the Power Platform. The first option is the SAP ERP connector that we ship out of the box together with the other 450 plus Power Platform connectors. The SAP ERP connector supports SAP ECC and S4 HANA systems and typically connects to an on-premise data gateway. Once a connection has been established, you will be able to invoke any BAP and custom RFCs that are available in the target system. Now to see the connector in action, we will be developing an end-to-end -end SAP connectivity use case by leveraging the Power Platform. And here's the overall development journey. As a first step, we'll create a new Power Virtual Agent bot that will drive the conversational experience for SAP on-hand inventory lookups. As part of the process, we need to build a Power Automate Cloudflow that uses the SAP ERP connector to invoke a BAPI to retrieve the equipment stock level from an SAP system. The results are then returned to the active chat dialog, and depending on user input, it continues the conversation or ends it by presenting a satisfaction survey. The maintenance team pins the newly developed chatbot to their team's channel, making it accessible to everyone who has access to the bot 24 hours a day, 7 days a week to check for on-hand inventory or equipment and critical spare parts without having to log into an SAP system or any VPN connectivity. Alright, let's get started. So here we are in the Power to My portal in the solutions area. Make sure you are in the right environment. Let's create a new solution. This solution will hold all our uh, automation artifacts uh, which are required for this SAP use case. Open the solution and we create now a new chatbot. Give it a name, select the language and again make sure we are in the right environment. This might take a minute or two. Great, our bot is ready. What I always like to do is to go to the greeting and customize that to fit a little bit closer to the actual use case. Let's replace this. I can help with SAP products and inventory questions, stock levels and more. Okay, save that. Go back to topics. Let's create a new topic. We call it products and inventory. And also create some uh, trigger phrases. Once this is done, we save. So let's open the authoring canvas. And now that we are in the correct topic, we can uh, request from the user to specify some more details around the equipment they're looking for. So we ask for the product or equipment name and save it in a variable called product. Then we continue, but only if we have really a value in that product variable. So let's go ahead and ask also for the inventory location. And save the output in a location variable. Here again, we make sure that uh, we have a proper value. Now, once we have these um, two values, we can uh, reach out to Power Automate and Cloudflow, which is then using the SAP ERP connector to look up the inventory status and stock level in SAP. So let's select Call in Action. And since this is an empty and a new environment, you don't see any pre-existing uh, Cloudflows. So let's create one. Give it a proper name. And you see it is pre-filled here with one trigger and one return action. So here we may have to make sure that we uh, supply the right variables from our chat experience, product and location. And then we add an action which is calling our SAP ERP BAPI function. And then select call SAP function. 
So if this is the first time that you select that action, uh, you are required to uh, specify a connection for that. So in order to simulate this user experience, let me actually create a new connection. You have two choices, SAP authentication or Windows authentication. Select the gateway, which is uh, able to reach that SAP instance and provide the SAP credentials here. Once this is done, then we have to supply the host, client and system number as basic information to connect uh, to the SAP instance. Now here's the most important part of that action. This allows now to select any BAPI or RFC which is available in that target system. So as soon as you type, for instance, here BAPI underscore material, it will list all the BAPIs and RFCs which match this uh, search term. Our scenario, we will uh, need to select the BAPI material availability. And you see dynamically it populates all the potential uh, parameter payloads available for that BAPI. In our case, we only need the material and the plant. So material is a product and a plant is the location and also the uh, unit, which is each for that particular uh, use case. Let's give it a proper name. Now the last step is to return the inventory level back to our chat experience. For that we create a return variable and call it stock level. Here's the AVQTYPLT variable, which is one of the properties returned from the BAPI call we have done previously. Okay, so here back in the chat experience, we can again select call in action, and now we should see our cloud flow. We select that. And it asks us to provide two variable inputs. We have product and location. And can then uh, continue with the uh, chat experience. We present a question with the stock level and also the product name. If he or she would like to continue with the conversation. In case not, then we can just end the conversation by presenting a survey. And if yes, we just ask to continue the dialogue. Let's save. So one very nice thing about this PVA experience here is that you have a test bot experience on the left hand side where you can live test the conversations you have just uh, authored here together with the Power Automate call actions uh, in the same uh, user interface. So you don't have to go anywhere else. You don't have to deploy something. You have uh, what you see is what you get experience here directly in the portal. So let me ask about quote, uh, product quantity. What is the product name? And you see on the right hand side, it's automatically synchronizing the current state of the dialogue with uh, the, the chat. Okay, plant 0001. And if everything was right, it should come back with uh, some inventory values. Perfect. So, okay, we currently have 1520 uh, office chairs in stock. Is there anything else? Uh, no. Yes, this answered my question. And the experience was, of course, awesome. No thanks. And that completes the dialogue. So this looks great. And if you go now to our Power Automate Cloudflow, you will see in the execution history, in the flow run history, uh, that our call SAP function has been called as part of this uh, Cloudflow. So if you open that and click on Bar P Material Availability, here you see the parameters we have supplied, office chair, plant, and uh, the unit. And we've received 1,520 uh, office chairs, which then are returned back to the chat experience in this um, return variable. Okay, so the next step is to uh, publish that bot. For this, we go to the Publish button and then select Publish. Great, the next step is to go to Manage and then Channels, where we have to enable the Microsoft Teams uh, channel. So here we have uh, two options to submit for approval. The uh, integrated experience, which goes then to the Microsoft Teams admin center, where an admin can uh, review all the requests and approve or reject. Here in the lower part. Or like in our case here, let's just download uh, the manifest and enter and upload that uh, bot manually to the Teams experience just for testing purposes. Okay, let's head over to Teams. And go to Apps. 
upload a custom app. We select our downloaded zip file. Perfect. And this should now surface here in the upper part with my SAP on hand inventory bot. Okay, we can add it to the left hand side and then we can also pin that chatbot. So whenever we navigate away, we have it always available to be accessed on the left hand side. Let's kick off the bot with a greeting. And then as expected, you have the same experience. And here on the left hand side, I've integrated also how this experience uh, looks on the team's mobile app. So wherever the maintenance team is now around the globe, they have access to inventory lookups 24 seven, either in the office or while on the go. Okay, here it has returned the uh, quantity again as expected. And we can close out the conversation by responding with a uh, satisfaction score and saying no thanks. So that's it. In less than 15 minutes, we were able to build a chatbot which uh, accesses the SAP backend, retrieving inventory quantities, pinning this to the team's experience and make this available also in the, automatically in the team's mobile app.